What's up everybody, Maui13. Okay, today we are looking at Perplexity Labs. So Perplexity AI is essentially a AI search engine. And what they like to call themselves is an answer engine. And so when we look at this, what we're seeing is this process took about 10 minutes and it all originated from one request. When I created the prompt, I used the prompt actually using a template so that I can kind of understand this system and now I understand it very well. So create a fun illustrated educational booklet about animals in ancient Egypt, focusing on camels, dogs, and elephants with historical context. Once I did that, there was a progress bar and it went to work looking things up on the internet and creating things like images and a chart. So what I'm gonna show you here is what was presented to me based on the 46 sources and the images are in line here. And it's referencing the book, which we're gonna look at at the end. So um, it goes on to say, I successfully created this comprehensive, fun and illustrated educational booklet, exploring the, exploring the fascinating roles of the animals in ancient Egypt civilization. And so we see the different sections like the dogs, the most beloved companions. And we see this illustration, which I believe was created by the native OpenAI GPT-40 um, engine uh, or image generating system, which is a great quality. Can I actually go there? Yeah. And um, I think, yeah, so that, that shows well, right? So I'll just continue on. And so here we get to the camel section. Uh, it, interesting information, I'm sure, here. Ancient Egyptians believed dogs acted as companions and guides to humans in the afterlife and were considered divine vessels, intermediaries between the mortals and gods. So the importance of the animals in the culture, and this all is citations, right? That's where they, uh, they get the information from. So it's very grounded in that sense. And here we see the camel, which is great. And uh, we have the elephants, which is kind of interesting. Elephants in ancient Egypt were present, present a paradox. They disappeared from Egypt uh, by the dynast, dynast, dynastic period due to climate change and remain culturally and economically significant through hunting expeditions and ivory trade. Um, the most famous elephant-related event in, in Egyptian history was Pharaoh uh, Tutmos. Thutmose uh, th the third hunting expedition in 1446 BC, where he hunted 120 elephants in Nisia, uh, in Syria. Uh, quite uh, interesting. And so we look at that one, and we can see the wonderful illustration, and it's actually depicting the hunt, which is really cool. Uh, very interesting, fun, and educational. And so then we get down to, uh, I believe, based on the output, the AI created a small program, programmed in Python, so that it could create a chart for us. And what it did was it's talking about the animal importance, saying that dogs were much more important than elephants were, which makes some sense. Dogs are going to be more accessible, compact, um, able to be kept and fed and all this kind of stuff. And uh, so, of course, camels is on the radar, right? And so we finally look at a group image of all the animals together. That's really cool. And this is really unique because it's like, you know, you ask somebody, please create an Egyptian inspired with hieroglyphs image of our three animals that we're creating for our book. And it has the course of elephants, the lovely camels, and the wonderful dogs, right? So they're all there. So that's really cool. And finally, what you could do is you can download this. And what this does is it creates the booklet in a Word or PDF format when you go here. And when I click here, it just shows up on the right side. You can see a little bit of that. And basically, you can kind of see what the book looks like in those different formats. So we have our formatting and bolding and even little emojis and table of contents like a true book, which is great automation. And this is all done automatically and provided to me. Um, so I'm just kind of going through and lots of interesting information. And then, um, did you know, I like these things. Uh, the word dog in ancient Egyptian was, sounds like a bark. I, I'm not going to try to say that. 
um, IWIW. IW, um, let's see. Dogs were the only animals Egyptians gave human names to. I think that's interesting. Some dog names meant the brave one, reliable, and good herdsman. Interesting. Um, so, yeah. So, there it is. Uh, this is an awesome thing available to Perplexity Pro users. There is a subscription for that. But you would get a lot of this experience at first where you can begin to understand how perplexity does things by just using it to do the the free tier what's available and uh just using it to search for things so you could search here search for uh information on animals in ancient egypt focusing on uh, camels dogs and elephants with historical context and then it'll give you this whole little presentation it won't generate the images for you or create a booklet but it will give you um, a lot of information from the internet, which is awesome. And it still has this kind of AI powered um, presentation. So hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.